Hello everybody and welcome to the Shadowcraft cards review for the upcoming expansion, Fortune's Hand. We are once again with Twitch chat and how this works is it's an interactive card review. I will give my thoughts, chat will give their thoughts in a poll and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So join up on Twitch if you haven't already, you can come catch my next stream. All right, so first up it is Milteo the Lovers. Wait, hold up, sorry. I didn't explain this properly. We've already done <laughs> Forest, Sword, Rune, Dragon, and now we're doing Shadow, okay? This is the Shadow video. All right. Chat, as always, let me know if the music is too loud or too soft or whatever, okay? Milteo the Lovers. Oh my god, wait, I'm losing my voice. One second. I have been talking way too long, okay? It's been five hours and 17 minutes. I'm, I'm really proud of this stream. <laughs> I'm really happy. Okay. Milteo, the Lovers. Shadowcrass Legendary. 5 play point 4 4. Oh my god, dude. What is this? This is English class. I can't believe this, dude. Okay. Fanfare. Burial Rite 2. Reanimate X and reanimate Y. X and Y equal six split randomly. To perform to perform burial right two, there must be at least two open spaces in your area after this follower comes into play. Hold up, sorry, my nose itches a lot. One second. <laughs> We're good, we're good. Enhance 9. Do not perform Burial Rite. Evolve this follower instead. Can't be evolved using evolution points. Can be evolved using card effects. Last words, draw two cards. At the end of your turn, destroy six other random followers. Then, if the enemy leader has seven defense or more, deal damage to them until their defense drops to six. What is this? What is this? It feels like an episode of Custom Card Weekly. <laughs> Randomly generated cards. <laughs> it does. What the heck? Five play point four four. Burial Rite 2, Random Reanimate. Let's take this step by step. The, okay, 53144, eh. Burial Rite 2 could be good in Burial Rite decks, and this expansion did get a lot more Burial Rite synergy. Reanimate X and Y 6 split randomly. Hate it. That's terrible. That's not good. That's not good. We've seen stuff like this before, right? What was the, what was the Haven card that did um Amulet split randomly? What was that one? Untrue God. It's similar to that. That card, that card sucks, dude. And this is kind of like that. It's just not reliable enough, I don't think. Followers are good while amulets are trash. True, but I just think it's like, it's a little, it's just a little, it's, you know, it's just a little, it's a little unreliable. But, Burial Rite could be good because of all the, uh, the synergy. And of course, last words, draw two cards. It's just, to be honest. Just be honest. Last words, draw two cards is just amazing. Okay. And then there is enhance nine. Do not perform burial right. Evolve this instead. And when you evolve this, you don't draw two cards anymore, but instead you have a six six that destroys six random followers and drops the opponent's defense to six. For nine play points. Does Shadow get to 9? I think they do. I think Shadow gets to 9. They have quite a lot of uh, of tools to get to 9. It's not that hard. Ania rotates, though. That is true, but Friends Forever doesn't. Friends Forever doesn't. Lubel doesn't. I don't know. 
It's just a good card on its own for five. Really amazing five drop. It is. The draw two cards is great. I think the reanimate is like whatever. But the draw two cards is great. The reanimate is kind of like an icing on the cake. You know what I mean? It's unreliable, but it's just nice to have. Theories rotates two though. Oh, it does. Oh, that's true. Ooh. 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 Ah. Should play this instead of Gensetsu. It does clear basically the whole board, dude. And then drops him to six. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Can it miss if you roll one and five and only have dead two costs? Will it reanimate nothing? It'll reanimate nothing. Well, it'll reanimate uh, a, a two cost, right? Yeah. One, one, two drop. It'll reanimate one, two drop. Hmm. 80s? Phantasmal Core is rotating out, dude. I think Hades is dead, man. I think Hades is dead. I don't know. I I'm not sold on Hades anymore. Could work, but I don't know. Maybe it could work because of all the burial rights that are in now. Hades isn't dead? You think so? We'll see, we'll see. I think it hurts, though. Losing the core hurts a lot. The new foul. Hades got an amulet that gives five shadows. Failure right counts for Rally, as does Reanimate. Ooh, that is interesting. Owl is 2 play point 10 shadows. Well, really? Wait, I haven't seen all the cards yet. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. All right. Yeah, I guess Hades is not dead. Oh, Hades is alive a little while longer, huh? It's not the core. I mean, losing the core hurts, let's be honest. But, like, all right. All right. It's still, it's still in an okay shape. Okay. Good to know. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Meta? Meme? Maybe? What do you think? I don't want to stay on one card too long. The only reason why we're on this card so long is because it's so freaking weird. There's so many effects. I think the card is just good. I think the card is just good. The reanimate, it's like, it's okay. But then the, the five drop, four, four that draws two cards, pretty good. Reanimate counts for rally, okay. Enhance nine, it's just, it's got that, it's got that sauce. It can also do the enhance nine and do the sauce. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's good because it does like a whole bunch of stuff. It does a whole bunch of stuff. And it's pretty, pretty okay at it. Pretty good at it. You know what I mean? I think it's good. I think it's a high maybe. What do you guys think? Let's take a look at Twitch chat. Is it good? Meta. Maybe. Meme. Vile. Start the poll. Lots of ones. I'm seeing lots of ones so far. All ones. Okay, okay. Some twos, some twos. I'm thinking high maybe. Okay, wow! Most people say meta. It is good. It is very, very good. It just does a lot, right? It does so much. The effect is so weird and complicated. But it does a lot in one card. I can totally see why you guys are saying uh, meta. Totally makes sense. That's a lot of ones, man. There you go. Three bodies, three, five mana, three bodies late game becomes Baja Izudia. You have to spend nine though. You don't get the two bodies when you spend. It's either five mana, three bodies, or it's nine play point Baja Izudia. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay, that's what you meant. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can't really argue with that, man. Uh, meta? Seems good, man. Seems good. Seems good. It's so weird. It's so weird. It does so many things pretty well. But it's so weird. Alright. Alright. You sold me. You sold me. It's good. Let's go! Next card! 
Conquering Dreadlord. 8 play point 6-6. Six, six. Invoke. When you perform Burial Rite, if it's your 5th, 7th, or ninth time this match, invoke this card and return it to your hand. When this follower leaves play or at the end of your turn, summon a Lich. It's really good. Really? You guys think it's really, really good? It's really good. Sounds bad. Interesting. Any burial right on those turn? It's not on the turns. It's not on the turns. It's how many times in a match. He has to do a lot of burial rights. You have to do a lot of burial rights. Lara Dreadlord gives you. Oh, that's interesting. That is cool. Lara Fatal Order all works with this guy. Way too specific. Ding dong. Lara and Fatal Order makes it good. You have to meet a lot of requirements. Man! What the heck are these Shadow Legendaries, man? What are these five-head Shadow Legendaries? Are you serious? Look, 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 look. Look at Dragon, dude. Uh, you draw cards or you go face. And then, and then you, what, what, what is this, bro? What is this, bro? What do you mean? <laughs> Yo, Dragon is like one head. And, and Shadow is like nine head. This is insane. <laughs> eight costs feel strange. I think when you play it on eight, kind of bad. But if you play it just like if you cheat it out, like they said with Laura or what or Lara or whatever, it's not bad. It's not bad. Is Laraing this better than Laraing Gensetsu though? Like, come on. Is it better than Lara and Gensetsu? I'm really unsold on this, man. I'm really unsold on this. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Good target for burial, right? Well, obviously what they're trying to do... This leaves behind two 4-4s. Four Why does it leave behind two 4-4s? Four oh, at the end of your turn, Anulant leaves. Okay, interesting. It's not bad. Not bad. Invoke this card on five, get a free Lich. It's not on your fifth turn. It's your fifth time this match. You have to do five burial rites. That's a lot of burial rites. That's a lot of burial rites, man. I mean, this expansion, there's a lot of burial rite support. It's not on the turn. It's your fifth, seventh, or ninth time performing burial rite. It's not on the turn. Pretty easy with Milteo. Yeah, you do you do perform two with Milteo, right? But that's on five, man. That's on five, remember that. I'm really not sold on it, man. I'm really not sold on it. Chat chat is saying it's good. Chat is saying it's good. I don't know, dude. I think this is a solid to low maybe for me. Milteo, high maybe to to meta. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's just straight up meta. I think chat has convinced me on this one. I think this is just meta. I think chat's convinced me. But this one, dude, I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. Solid to low maybe. That's what I say. Let's see what chat says. Meta. Maybe. Meme. Vile. Let's go. I think it's a solid to low, maybe. I don't think it's meta. I don't think so. Unless Burial Rite really makes a splash. But I really don't think... Uh, I don't think so, man. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. I'd love to Ding see it. Dong. Hey, if, if the next expansion comes around and Burial Rite Shadow is the new hotness, hey, that'd be cool. But right now, I don't know, man. I'm kind of unsure. I'm kind of unsure. Lots of metas, though. Hey, Shadow mains in chat. Any shadow mains? Man, I'm not convinced. I'm really not convinced by this one.
but chat likes it. Hey, there you go. There you go, dude. Well, we'll see when the expansion comes out, eh? If Burial Rite's good, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. This card is... Oh, man, this card is just... I think I underrated this, man. I keep coming back to this because I think I underrated it because it's so weird. But I think it's just good. This one, though, not sold. New card. Deathbringer. 9 play point 7, 7. Crystallize 2, Countdown 3. Sanford and Last Words transform a random enemy follower into a skeleton. At the end of your turn, destroy 2 random enemy followers and restore 5 defense to your leader. If you Lara this, it's kind of crazy. That's an amazing mid-game removal. The Crystallize, though? The Crystallize is actually fantastic. The Crystallize is fantastic. Because remember, Transform also doesn't count as leaving play. It's pretty good. It's not targeted, though, remember. It is random. It is random. But it, there is a downside to it. Insane on two. I don't think it's insane on two. I think it's insane in the mid game. I think it's insane in the mid game. Eat space for three turns and shadow need space. True. Feels really good. Two play points. Mm. I think it's good. I think it's good, but there are downsides to it, you know? It's not like, it's not like an easy, oh, it's the best thing in the world. I think it's great, though. I think it is great. I think it is quite good. Although, I will say, people including me overrated, uh, uh Formbender. People, including me, overrated Formbender. I wonder if something similar is happening with Deathbringer. The biggest problem IMO is that he eats space. Ooh, man. I think it's good. I think it's good. But I think it's like a... Hmm. I think it's a high maybe, man. It's a high maybe for me. Not to be a maybe Martin the whole video, but I think it's a high maybe. What does chat say? Let's go, chat. Let's go. Lots of metas. Oh, but also lots of maybes. It's pretty even, actually. I think it's close, too. Like, I mean, you just saw me, like, deliberate over it for a while. It was perfectly even there for a second. That's crazy. It's so even. I'm gonna let it run a little longer. Actually, no, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's stop it, let's stop it. Okay. Hey. When it's this close, there has to be a revote, man. Let's go. I wrote meme by accident. Oh my god. Scoff it's scoffed! It's scoffed! <laughs> Go again, dude.
It's so close. I'm gonna close it, dude. It's- oh, wait. Well, maybe you almost made a jump there, dude. That's crazy. Oh my god. It is so close. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. Alright, meta it is, man. I think it's good. I think it's good. Move on. Bonanza. 2-2-2, two, 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 enhance 7, reanimate 10. Whenever you perform a burial right drop. It's only okay. I think it's only okay. I don't know if there's space. I don't think there's space. I don't think there's space for this. This card is the burial right card? Well, yeah, they're trying to push burial right as an archetype in itself. I don't know if it's going to be a thing. I don't think burial right is going to be a, an archetype in itself. What do you guys think, chat? This card is great. Burial right needs a lot of draw. That's true. Vile. Really? Wow. Harsh. I think it's okay. Draw is good. Draw is good. And I don't know if there's room. And I also don't know if burial right is going to be a thing that exists as an actual tech. Hope so. Nice to see some cool stuff, but I don't think so. Ding dong! Could make a grammary happen. When seven uses to get Deathbringer. Ah, oh, I don't know about that. Oh wait, mm, that is actually pretty okay. That is actually pretty okay. And I guess the end game is Milteo, right? You just play all of this stuff that gets you to turn 10, and then you play Milteo. Or something else. Ooh. Oh, you're selling me on it. You're starting to sell me on it, dude. Feels like they're trying to push a pure burial right deck. It does feel that way, and I'm not convinced it's going to be a thing, but... If it is a thing, this card is definitely going to be good, dude. I think. Mm. Yeah. Listen, I'm avoiding saying hi maybe because I'm really going to end up looking like a maybe Martin, but I think it's a hi maybe. Hi maybe to meta. Hi maybe to meta. That's me. All right, let's go. Is it good? Meta. Maybe. Meme. Vile. Let's go. Let's go chat! Lots of ones. Yo, you guys voted meta on every single shadow card so far. That's crazy. Do I have like a chat full of shadow mains or something? Is this a shadow chat? The shadow verse? I mean, they are pretty good cards so far. This burial right is going to be meta? Interesting. We'll see, we'll see. I haven't played shadow in years, but these cards are just pog. They are good. Don't get me wrong, they are good. But I think chat has more faith in Burial Right than I do. But, you know, we'll see. Hopefully it is good. Hopefully it is good. Alright, cool. Looks like that's a strong meta. Alright. Next card. Cloistered Sacristan. 655. Crystallize 2, Countdown 4. Whenever you perform a Burial Right, subtract 1 from this amulet's countdown. Last word, summon a Cloistered Sacristan. Ward. Evolve Burial Rite, randomly destroy one of the enemy followers with the highest attack and play and restore. That's not that good, dude. It's not that good, dude. If you think about this compared to these guys, it makes these guys look better, man. I don't know. I don't really like this one so much, man. I don't really like this one so much, dude. Don't think of these cards as something that has to fit in a Burial Rite deck exclusively. You remember Fairy. I do remember Fairy. But, Fairy does a Burial Rite, and then it gives everything three times attack. This just feels like it's Burial Rite, like, the, the, the Burial Rite for Fairy is just like the cost of entry, I feel like. You know what I mean? Eating out a 5-5 five, five early is okay. It is okay. I don't know, dude. 
I'm not convinced by this one, dude. It's not a meta for me, dude. It's not a meta. It's not a meta. It's not a meta. I don't think it's a meta. Any maybes? Any maybes in chat? I can't believe this entire video and stream right now is a maybe stream. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, dude. Any maybes? You guys are just gonna vote one again, aren't you? You're a bunch of one Andes. Oh, really? Meme is up there. Wow, okay. There it is, dude. There it is. That's it. That's the poll. That's the poll, dude. Well, well, if it isn't the man who taught me the basics of the game, big thanks for your beginner's guide, Zignidius. Hey, man! My pleasure, my pleasure. Welcome to the stream. What's up? Okay. So, so far, chat's been a, a meta Marvin, and I've been a maybe Martin on this entire on this entire thing. But hey, for this one, we agree. Maybe. There it is. Okay. Ghostly Maid. 2.22 fanfare. If there are any allied amulets in play, summon a ghost. Then if there are at least two in play, evolve it. Nah, dude. I don't Ding think this done. is that good. I don't think this is that good, man. What do you play this for? To use guilt on it? To use guilt on the ghost? Oh, I don't think this is... No, no, bro. This is a meme. This is a meme. Add me card? <laughs> yeah, maybe. But you have skill ring, dude. What do you need this for? Adamy has skill ring. Dude, this is a meme. This is a meme. It's a meme, bro. Let's go. Is it good? Listen, it doesn't really do anything outstanding. It's just a 2-2 two -two that summons like a 1-1. A one -one, and like, what's it doing, man? Running one damage into the opposing freaking shield guardian? Come on, dude. Amulet shadow? Are you freaking serious? Meta, maybe, meme, vile. I think it's a meme. Go. Oh, chat's full of memers. Chat's full of memers. Okay, I don't even have to let this go on for long, dude. That, that's instantly landslide. That's crazy. Okay. Next card. Let's talk about more interesting cards, okay? Coffin of the Unknown Soul. Countdown 1, Fanfare Burial Rite. Draw a card and add X to this amulet's countdown. X equals half the cost of the original follower destroyed by Burial Rite. Rounded down. Last words, summon a copy of the follower destroyed by Burial Rite. I mean, if you want to summon something good, it's going to be a long countdown, right? It's going to be pretty long. <laughs> Can you activate this? Can you destroy this early? Can you destroy this early somehow? I don't know, dude. Oh, Atomy. Atomy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What? Holy smokes. Are you serious? Atomy? Jesus! That is insane! Okay, but we're talking about rotation, okay? This is a rotation chat. But wow, unlimited friends are gonna have a really good time with this card, man. Holy, holy smoke. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Unlimited friends are gonna have a grand old time. Okay. But rotation, friends. Ah. Ah. 
I'm not sold. I'm not sold. If you just want a regular burial rite, just use freaking procession. If you want a card that summons stuff, just use freaking any other reanimate card. It's not this one. I think. I think this is only okay, dude. I think it's only okay. You know what? It's only okay, bro. This is a meme. It's high meme, low maybe. High meme, low maybe. That's what I say. Oh, let me bring it up. Hold up. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lots of memes. Lots of memers. But do not get it twisted, okay? Listen. If you do freaking Unlimited, and you play this with Atomy, are you freaking serious? This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I think it's high meme, low maybe. Ooh, pretty even on the meme and the maybe, man. That's kind of crazy. Yo, we're on 30 minutes into this review, and we're only on the silvers. This, we gotta wrap it up. We gotta wrap it up, dude. Let's wrap it up. Okay, meme, confirmed. All right, next card. Death Foul, 4 3 3, Crystallize 1, Countdown 3, Gain 4 Shadows, Fanfare, Gain 4 Shadows, Last Words, Draw a Card. 1. 1. Easy 1. Easy 1, dude. That's a 1. That's a 1. I've never seen a more 1 in my life, dude. That's a 1, bro. That's a 1. Any 1s in chat? Any 1ers? It's so good in Hades, dude. It's keeping Hades alive. It's keeping Hades alive. Single handedly. Got a fair few maybes, though, dude. Interesting. I think it's a one, though, man. I think it's a one. Ding dong! It's just good. Just good, chat. What I say. Okay, I almost did the thing again where instead of clicking finish poll, I almost clicked stop streaming. Why do I keep doing that? Because the button is, like, big and red, dude. Come on. Are you serious? <laughs> Alright. That's a one. Easy one, dude. Let's not waste time. Spirit Curator, 333, three, three. Fanfare, Burial Rite, draw a card. Okay. Okay. One? You guys think one? You guys think one? You really think Burial Rite's gonna be a thing, huh? I don't know, I wouldn't say one, I would say maybe, I would say maybe. I think this is a maybe. I think it's like a low maybe even, I don't think it's a one. Fully statted cycle. Yeah, but it's a three drop. If it was a two drop, easy one. If it was a two drop, easy one. If it was a two, 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 easy one. As a three, 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 I think it's a, I think it's a low maybe. I honestly think it's a low maybe. Let's go. Is it good? One, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, no, what's, what the hell is five? Okay, one, two, three, four, let's go. There it is, dude. The twos have it. The twos have it. True. Agree. Next. This is the last one? Oh, no, two more. Okay, okay, okay. Two more. Soul Box. 554. Five, fanfare. If there are any allied amulets in play, if. <laughs> Energy. Bro, this is a four. This is a four. All right. It's so bad. It's so expensive. It's for a. It's for amulets. What? It doesn't do anything. It's trash. If you vote one, what are you doing, dude? 
think you're funny? You think you're the class clown? Are you for real? What's wrong with you? Okay, I think that's enough. I think that's enough, dude. Yeah. Our trash! Let's not waste our time. Savoring Slash. Two play point, deal three damage to an enemy follower. Burial rights, draw a card. That's amazing. That's one. That's one. That's one. Are you for real? You're gonna go from this to this, dude? Let's go, dude. That's a one. That's easily a one. It's so good. It's so good. There it is, dude. Let's not waste our time. Easy. All right, there it is, dude. Yo, Shadow has so many two play point deal three now. There's this, there's the one with the ghost, and there's the one, uh, the new uh, Undying Resentment. That's crazy. Ridiculous, dude. Okay, wow. Well, there you go. Looks like that's it for Shadowcraft. Chat seems to think Shadowcraft got pretty much all good cards except for Soul Box, which is uh, Soul Box and Coffin and Ghostly Maid, which are all freaking trash. But other than that, chat seems to think that Shadow's got it pretty good, man. Shadow meta? We'll have to see. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree. Like the video if you did. Don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future. Thank you to my wonderful patrons. See you all next time. Bye-bye.